Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you tonight from my office and I just wanted to talk to you about what's in my book bag. And um, the reason I'm doing this, I have a dear friend named Natasha from Germany, shout out to Natasha, um, who has really supported me through my recovery. And she asked me in a PM the other day, what have you been reading? You know, because I am always hanging out at the coffee shop slash bookstore. And um, so I am a book hound and I love to read books. And so I usually have several going at a time. I don't get through them quickly and I don't worry about it. And I don't even worry about reading the whole book. I just often will look through and take what I want from a book and enjoy. And some of them I do read cover to cover. So basically the first one I wanted to show you was Beating Chronic Fatigue and it's by Dr. Christina Downing Orr. And it's a really good book. You know, I just got this recently. I'm, I'm near the end of my recovery, but you know, you always want to look at fine tuning things. And um, she actually has a really good supplement protocol in here that I checked out with my OHC practitioner, nutritionist about adding it into the supplements I was doing and I got the go ahead. So um, anyway, what I like is they talk about a fusion model of recovery. She's recovered from CFS as well as a doctor that she wrote the book with. Just to tell you a couple of the chapters in here, we've got the medical option, the nutrition option, developing psychological hardiness, and formulating empowering beliefs. So that's beating chronic fatigue. This one's really fun. You are a badass. How to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. Isn't that hysterical? I got another friend, Jason, my buddy from Ireland, and we always laugh and we're like, we're decided we, we've always been the nice people and we're going to be badasses. <laughs> and I say that with love, you know, we're not going to be too mean, but in other words, you kind of go after what you want in life. So this is fun. I picked it up. I've just kind of poked around in different chapters of it, you know, and uh, that's been fun. Okay, so here's another one. Are you my type and I, am I yours? Um, relationships made easy through the Enneagram. There are a couple of books like this on Amazon that are an easy read. I mean, look at how, look at this. It's very, um, you know, you can see it. it's an easy read to just pick through. And, you know, the Enneagram has been so powerful for my recovery because um, it's, a, it's a personality typing, but it's so much more than that. And it's an ancient uh, tool, so there's a lot to it. And it's really helped me understand my patterns of behavior that caused me to push and push and drive my body until I was debilitated with CFS. And so what it's helped me do is address those patterns. You know, um, I did another video on the Enneagram, but anyway, it's a great book. Check it out. Check out the Enneagram. Get the Enneagram made easy for you if you're interested in personal transformation through CFS. Okay, here's another fun one, and I have to admit, I bought it for the cover. Okay, Strong is the New Pretty. Is that awesome? I love that. You know, going through CFS, you feel so debilitated and so weak, and so I actually just have this in my bedroom, and it's just some photos of girls just about their strength and what they're doing. And so I just love this. It's inspiring to me to tap into that inner Wonder Woman, right? But anyway, so here's the latest acquisition. I mean, really recent. Got this on Amazon. CFS Unraveled by our favorite, Daniel Nefer. Daniel, I hope you're, I'm saying your name right. Anyway, he's in some forums that I'm in. And, you know, he, I saw an interview the other day of this guy and him. He does lots of recovery interviews. And I was so touched by it. And, you know, I've done a lot of brain retraining programs. And so uh, I'm not really sure what his full program is, but a lot of it has to do with that because he recognizes how the... Um, the nervous system is locked in that fight or flight. And so he, anyway, I'm real excited to be getting into this. So I haven't yet, but it looks like it's gonna be a great read, okay? And so let's see, there's a couple more. This one wouldn't fit in my bag, so I just dragged it in here. I just finished it. This is called Get the Life You Love Now, okay? This is by Phil Parker, um, the fellow who developed the lightning process. And um, it's a great book. 
will cheat on the side, the entire process is in the book. Now you don't get the benefit of the training, which I've done and is fabulous and can be used in every area of life. Get the book and read it and see what you think. It's really great. I think it's all about, you know, a lot of these books, as you can see, are about joy and love. And, and, and I think it's just about finding our passion in life at this stage in my recovery. You know, in the dark days of my recovery, it was about, you know, being able to be out of bed more than an hour a day. Okay. So, you know, totally different story now, but your time is coming. And so get ready, get your books ready, know what you're going to want to do. So when you come out, you've got things that'll inspire you. Here's another book I love. I just keep it in my bedroom and I keep it on my dresser open like this so I can always see Find Your Happy. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, who doesn't want to be read a little bedtime story, right? So anyway, guys, that was fun. I just wanted to share with you what's in my book bag. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll do another one of these if you like them, you know, because I got lots of other books hanging around. <laughs> so anyway, take care, warriors. And remember, life's not over. It's starting again.